Uh, how, can I can I ask how you managed to get Jack out of school, Gary? Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're going on holiday, basically, and that was it. <laughs> um, tell us, so during that, during um, you've been you've been working hard, haven't you? Because you're um, you're you're a key worker, aren't you? Tell you what you, what you've been doing in the pandemic. Uh, we're, we're, we're raw mail posties, um, so it's been a busier time than ever before. Everyone's ordering online, um, so our parcels just went through the roof. Uh, even the mail just went through the roof as well. Um, but um, I'm, I'm a huge Kiss fan, if you haven't guessed. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I just thought one day I just thought it'd be funny to put the makeup on and do me round in the makeup. You know, I post for a few pictures just for my Facebook and a laugh and... It went viral. It went absolutely crazy. Gene Simmons got a hold of the picture. He retweeted it and it got something silly like three million likes and shares. And it was just such a fun period. And it, it just brought a lot of joy and fun to people's faces, you know. And that's what it was, that's what Kiss is all about, you know, do the best you can in life and succeed. Be happy. I think we remember we showed you, I think we spoke to you, showed some of those pictures at the time. Uh, very memorable uh, post round that was. And uh, Georgina, I, I, we spoke to Caroline Davis, our transport correspondent, who's on the beach um, uh, down in Villa Mora at the moment. And she was talking about the fact that it's not particularly busy. What's the hotel like? How many people are there? Um, there's a few there, but I'm not too sure. Probably more turn up today or yeah. tomorrow. But because um, we're the first ones here, it's not a lot there yet, but there's quite a few. We think Wednesday it's going to pick up. We seem to think Wednesday it's going to get busier. But yeah. bars are open, restaurants are open. You wouldn't know anything has, has been odd at the moment. Everything, Everything's good and enjoyable, isn't it? It's, it's almost as normal. Have fun. Dive in on behalf of us. Thank you very much, Gary, Georgina <laughs> and Jack. No Thank you. Bye. Bye. Have a lovely holiday. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so we're almost having a sort of... A bit of a holiday ourselves. We've also got, we've got, it's, honestly, Living this programme this program today is packed with lovely views. I'm here. Coming our way, Lou and Dan. Thank you very much for that, Carol. I'm, Listening very carefully to what you're saying, Cal, but also enjoying the scenery behind you. It really does look like a glorious morning there. Uh, thank you very much. See you later on. Should we go elsewhere and look at the glorious scenery? Oh, yeah. uh, thousands of British holidaymakers have spent their first night abroad after restrictions on international travel were eased. Yeah, Portugal is one of those 12 destinations currently on the government's green list, which means British tourists don't have to self-isolate when they come back. Yep. Our transport correspondent, Caroline Davis, was on board a flight this time yesterday. Look where she is now. She's on the beach. <laughs> um, I know you're there for journalistic reasons, but it does look also lovely. <laughs> morning it is is beautifully sunny here in the Algarve I mean as you can see behind me not a huge number of tourists yet out on the beach but probably uh, they're having a well-deserved lie-in on their first morning of the holiday but about how many people you've got coming uh, over to over to you to Portugal yeah thank you good morning I mean how great it is to be here in the sunny Algarve and this absolutely stunning backdrop and yesterday we're really pleased to be able to be the first tour operator from the UK to restart holidays here to Portugal Oh, it's so exciting. We're all so excited. Portugal needs the tourism business back, the Algarve in particular. The unemployment's been up 61% for the same time last year. So we're really hoping we're going to turn a corner and perhaps Portugal can be the forerunners for showing how international travel can open up again. Thank you very much, guys. Um, lovely to speak to you here. Plenty of people very excited about British tourists returning and it sounds like plenty more are on the way soon. It's lovely even just to hear the waves behind you. Thank you very much. Uh, let's speak now to one family who are currently enjoying their long-awaited holiday in... Turning to the roads, uh, westbound traffic through Wapping on the highway is very slow from the Limehouse link. That's St Court Road uh, near the bridge are causing eastbound tailbacks through... Take a look at the web then with Elizabeth Rossini. Hello, good morning. It's a slightly chillier start to the morning than we saw this time yesterday. And on Wednesday, still some showers developing, perhaps fewer than on Tuesday. I'm back with the latest from BBC London in half an hour. Now, though, it's back to Dan and Louise. Bye-bye for now. Have a lovely morning.